the Big Bluefin series starts now. Five years, focus energy. I got 100 pounders, 200 pounders, 300 pounders, limits. I'm the dummy who did it. And I'm sharing how A to Z in this new series, starting with the easiest way to get her done, the Nomad Mad Max. Let's go. I always wanted to fish. Always. Welcome back to another episode of Hustle and Fish. Today, we're going to get right to it. As you can see, your boy got a whiteboard. I got notes and I'm getting very professional. I just got to get my mojo on this camera and I will kill the game. But not to get sidetracked, we're going to talk today about the infamous Mad Max. We're going to start off with the gear, work our way into line, knots, distance, speed, size, colors, rigging, wrapping foam, and trolling etiquette. I looked around on YouTube for more videos on the Mad Max. Uh, what I found was videos with some cool B-roll catching fish. You're not going to get that here, but what you're going to get is the fine details that everyone needs to know when you're out there. So let's just start from top to bottom and get to the gear. What I like to use is something like this. 50 narrow. I won't go smaller than a 30, but a 50 is my preferred size because I'm not going to get under gun. Uh, I'm putting about 32 pounds of drag. I got 135 pounds of spectra on here. And there is times where I do boost up the drag to 35 pounds. Now, as far as the rod, we're fishing 760 3X. That means that's seven and a half feet, 3X, rated for 80 to 130 pounds. Uh, this is my signature series by Fishing Syndicate. Now, I'm not gonna sell you guys, that's not my role, but what I want you to do is come to the Pacific. Oh, by the way, breaking news, a core offshore is gonna be at the Pacific Coast Show in March. Uh, thank you, God. Uh, he's the one that opens doors. And my job is to have the courage. Our job is to have the courage to go right through them. But I'm going to have my signature series rods over there. And I want everybody to come by and just pool on them. Okay? Uh, Fishing Syndicate booth will be there as well. Go over there and pull on the rods and make a decision for yourself. As for me... I love them. I've been fishing them since 2018 and no complaints. Now, let's talk about the line we use. Iser line, 135 pound mono. Don't need floral, straight mono, okay? We're tying typically 30 yards of mono. We're straight tying to the Mad Max. Nothing fancy, no swivels. The word is straight tie works. And we tested it and verified it and certified it and it works. Now, I know a lot of guys buy top shots. We do not. For the last couple years, we've been tying our mono directly to our spectra. Now that's a 135 pound spectra being tied to a 135 pound mono. And we're using the knot from the triple OG, John Collins, spectra to mono. And we have never had one casualty. The knot is flawless. Now, let's get to the distance. We're dropping the Mad Max back 70 second count on one, 100 count on a second one, okay? And we're doing this simultaneously, and one guy's taking lead on the count, and it's typically me. For example, I get the rod, bear get the second rod, drop them. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. I'll count to 70. 70. Count another 30. 100. Lock it in. And we're good to go. We're in the game. If anything, they don't bite at 70 or 100, and I know the fish are there, I will draw back 100 on one, 130 on another. You cannot be afraid. If, if, if you're not having the thought like, damn, these Mad Max are far as hell, then... You're not far enough. That's how far they should be back. Far as hell where you're like, man, we got to reel that thing in. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot something. When you're dropping them back, make sure you're going around eight knots. 
I mean, my boat has to be going eight knots when I'm dropping them back. And that's how the math works. If you're going too slow, dropping them 70, it's not going to be in the sweet spot. If you're going too fast, you're going to be past the sweet spot. So eight knots, drop one back 70, the other one back 100. Let's go. Let's get to the speed. How fast are we trolling those Mad Max? My window is 12 to 14 knots, okay? My sweet spot has always been 12. And I've been bit at 15 knots. But if I'm in the zone and I got the boat staged the way I want it, I try to get into 12, 12 knots, and it has proven to be very productive for us. And just keep in mind, if you don't have that 30 second gap between them, and you guys are making a churn to the starboard side, to the port side, uh, these will get tangled. Having that 30 second distant gap uh, prevents that for the most part. What happens is one ends up going on top of the other or vice versa. Now, let's talk about the size, okay? We fish the 240 gram and the 200 gram. My go-to is the 240, but I always start the show with both. I always start the show with both and I see uh, what the fish want to eat. But from my experience in the last couple years is that I've caught in 30 pounders with this, this being the 240 gram, and I've caught in about some 260s, 280s with this at our biggest. Now, as far as the colors, uh, to us, doesn't really matter. They all get bit, okay? I do have a preference. Uh, my top three is the sardine, the Spanish Mac, and any color that's bright. Those are my top three. All colors work. I have all colors and I've caught them on all colors. Now, let's talk about rigging. Right out the box, this is how they come with these two big J-hooks. And for the 240 grams, that's the way I fish them. Um, a lot of guys change the back. I do not. I do change the back hook on the 200 gram on every one. I do put a 4 odd stinger on there. Uh, sometimes we use a 5 odd stinger. Now, before we get to wrapping foam and doing it correctly, I want to shout out last week's winner from my episode, Fishing Business, King Sal 217. Congratulations. You weighed in at 213. The bluefin was taped out at 212. Uh, I will send you a message. Matter of fact, I already did. Now, for today's contest, anybody guess the weight of this bluefin right here? Leave your answers in the comments. I'll find them and then I'll find you. Oh, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. I got the big fish series coming and I'm going to be talking about spread bar fishing, kite fishing, balloon fishing, boat upgrades, workflow, everything that I do to generate the tuna that I've been catching the last couple of years. And with that being said, Please like the video and share it with anybody who you feel could use this information. Now, for wrapping foam, as you can see, I made a little single line chart. And this is exactly how I do it, okay? It took a while to finally get it down. But when I see a foamer like this, I do come straight to it, okay? Close enough where I'm not going to spook them. And that gap between me and the foam is typically, I would say, I don't know, 20, 30 yards. And I'll make a pivot to the port side and then a hard right to the starboard side and wrap them just like this, staying 20 to 30 feet away from the foam. Come out like this, come back in like this. And at the very end, my line should be coming exactly on top of that foam kills them every time okay now for a trolling etiquette save the best for last because this is the most important guys you do not want to be that guy trolling mad max where guys in boats are flying kites okay it's just disrespectful you could do it but let's keep a great distance and i'm talking at least a hundred yards away and you gotta imagine if you're on the kite and you're working hard to get bit and here comes a guy making waves, making noise with a Mad Max. You're going to imagine how much that will piss you off. Caution. 
Fishermen become the hardest gangsters out in the ocean. I don't know if it's because they're on the water and can't be touched, but I've had my neck ripped off verbally by a couple boats. It's not always my fault, but it does get crazy out there. So what I learned is keep your distance, find your own fish, trolling Mad Max, you will get bit. Now, I got more videos coming about when the Mad Max don't work, what to do, but I think for today, I think we covered sufficient information. You can thank me later. Hustle and fish, let's go. I always find the fish, always.